Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have a good day. Hot. Sorry, I touched my truck. Um, so by good day, I mean lots of driving. If you are joining the home inspection industry, just remember you have to go where the money is, which includes a lot of driving. So today I drove all the way to Baytown, and then out of Baytown, I drive all the way to Sugarland, and then I drive home. So if you just want to look at the driving path, at somewhere like Katy, so Katy to Baytown, Baytown to Sugarland, Sugarland to Katy. So it is a nice uh, drive around Houston today. But anyways, uh, by good day, I got a phase two. I'm not gonna cover a whole lot on the phase two. I'm only gonna cover one problem because of timelines. And then after the phase two inspection, I have to head all the way to Missouri City for uh, one of our top agents, just a request. And Josh and I are gonna knock out that inspection. It's a really long intro, so please follow me along. So right here you have your main water supply line. Right here, this is called a striker plate. You want the striker plate two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom because when they, um, when they sheet rock the garage, you are going to, there's a chance that they could penetrate the water line here at the bottom. So it helps protect the water lines. Next item is a pretty common find right here. You have fire foam. You see the orange here. And then right here, they accidentally missed uh, this spot right here. Pretty common call out. And then also right around the light fixture, or sorry, uh, the, the outlet here. The only thing is, is a uh, garage. It needs to be completely blocked off for uh, code reasons for fire safety. Next item, actually, I want to show you this because it looks good. Uh, this window is uh, properly installed. You can see that they wrapped the pan flashing around the window. They even added additional tape where they may have broken the pan flashing and they actually sealed around the window too as well. So this is a really good looking installed window from the inside. Another thing too, what I like to see is you can see that you have the striker plates from the top and the bottom. But also, I like to grab the water lines and shake them to help find knocking. And I didn't find that at all throughout the property. They strapped all the water lines really well uh, throughout this structure. The builder, the builder already identified this item, but I am going to write it up. All studs need to be 16 inches on center, and we are missing a stud right here. And you can see they've even marked it already, stud missing. Another striker plate missing. You see they got two inches from the top. For drains, waste pipes, and vents, they need two inches from the bottom. Something else that I'll call out really quickly, you can see they put a safety railing in front of the water heaters. You need easy access so any homeowner can service the water heater, shut, off, shut it off, or get to it, light the pilot, whatever. So I recommend to remove these safety railings and add them over there. Another really good thing that I noticed about this build is they added a lot of baffles because of the high roof, uh, the, sorry, the high ceilings in this property. And with all these baffles installed, that will really help the ventilation around the structure. So you have, you can see that they're throughout the entire structure, which is really nice. All those problems around the structure were pretty common, but this is actually one of the only major ones that I would actually consider a miss, or if they didn't get the private inspector, that this may have not been called the private third party inspector. So right here, you have the, um, the flashing that runs across the, the roof covering, and it should actually project past the trim here, because what's gonna happen is water's gonna roll down here and then it could dam up in the corner and uh, cause a wall or roof leak in this location. So what I recommend to do is reset the flashing and extend it out past the roof line. Same scenario right here. This flashing was cut a little bit short. It should extend past the roof line a little bit in this location as well. Sorry about the wind. I'm gonna try to block it as much as possible. But, oh, <laughs> look, they already got it. <laughs> but they um, accidentally, this boot wasn't there whenever I first came in, but then they uh, forgot to uncap the plumbing jack. So that could cause drainage issues in the structure. So we're gonna leave that in the report and then I'll improve the, uh, the plumbing jack saying that it's been repaired before I left the property. Also recommend a better seal, the flashing, of course, 
recommend painting but they get that later down the line and then uh, um, also this isn't properly sealed either too as well so the, the the vent isn't properly sealed on the furnace so a lot of these things get handled handled before the final except I'm sure I'm gonna be calling out that plumbing jack again on the final uh, it's a pretty common myth so quick subsection in the video I just want to show you the pitch of this roof as best I can you know it's it's a pretty decent pitch on this roof and a lot of inspectors always ask what shoes do I wear and I leave these on my tool list on our home IW page and I just walked up this roof with ease and I use these Under Armour combat boots and you can see I am standing on them at pretty much a you know pretty vertical uh, steepness and I am sticking like glue so I really enjoy these uh, these boots and I feel really safe on the roof okay uh, headed to uh, eat lunch with Josh actually and then uh, we're gonna start our oops. then we are going to start uh, the next home inspection uh, stick along and then if you do like these types of videos please hit that like and subscribe button catch us on the next one and um, follow along as we build this home inspection business and I show you show you home inspection issues all right so I'm eating uh, lunch with Josh lunch of champions we got Wendy's today. Spicy numbers. <laughs> yeah, we normally uh, stick with Mexican food, but timelines are too tight. <laughs> it's always Mexican food. We like to sweat oh, while we're on the roof, like hurting. Have a heart attack. Yeah, but no. It's, uh, it's Wendy's. We'll, we'll go over the inspection afterwards. It's a weird one. I'll explain later.